Thank you so much, guys, for the joining. Uh, we are Ivan and Malikan. We are hosting today's collective call, as usual. So we got two amazing projects today to pitch here. And let me introduce the rules real quick, uh, and later I'll introduce them. So first of all, uh, how we usually hold such calls. Uh, a speaker has five minutes for the pitch part and up to 10 minutes for the Q&A part that follows after. So we'll add a timer to keep track of time. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave them in the chat or raise your hand or address it uh, to us directly or th both ways. So yeah, thank you so much for connecting. Be sure to check your camera settings and screen sharing settings. It's super important. And yeah, let me introduce you the projects real quick. So first of all, we got Fernando, founder and CEO at Intelligence Cube. And then we got Adeyemi, founder at Fracture Point and Game House. And probably we'll see Luki uh, from uh, uh, CXO or IFL Network. So yeah, uh, if, if they make it, but still the two projects are gonna be rock solid. So let's start with Fernando. I see you here on the call. So thank you so much for connecting. Sorry for the for the, for the chit chat. Thanks so much, Eva. And yeah, uh, there you go. Whenever you're ready, passing the mic to you, man. Yes, sure, sure. I'm ready now. Let me share the screen. Sure. Yeah, uh, so uh, I'm Fernando, uh, founder and CEO of Intelligence Cube and uh, why we're called Intelligence Cube because we are trying to empower AI and embody intelligence by the Intelligence Cube and we are a DX driven open source modelers uh, because we are trying to uh, you know uh, after the official launch of DeepSeek earlier this year uh, the open source machine learning model can have similar or better performance than cold source ones so here you can just invest your next DeepSeek so this is just our team and for myself I'm Berkeley alumni and also a uh, guest lecturer at CMU and U Mitch. And also I have past experiences uh, I work in China, Magazine and CQ Securities. And also for our uh, teammates, Tian Tian is a PhD from CMU and Rico Carter, who is also a uh, board director at uh, OpenAI. And we also have uh, CTO Florence from Stanford University, uh, focused on uh, machine learning, and also Jay uh, Duke alumni, uh, focused on product and growth. Uh, and we also have a, a advisory and fellowship cohort here. You can see uh, we have a full professor from CMU, uh, and also uh, from New York University as our advisor. And also uh, for fellowship uh, cohort, we have some uh, postdoc and also PhDs from Berkeley, Stanford, CMU, uh, MIT, Harvard, and Caltech. Uh, so this is just Matt Vitalik about four months ago, and we believe, we believe that with cheaper real-time updates and vertical purposes for uh, decentralized uh, learning language models, uh, for open source ones, it can, uh, you know, really challenge the centralized dominance like OpenAI or Claude. Uh, yeah, just some problems from centralized ones because limited and uh, closed source, they are, they are, they are lack of transparency, accessibility, and not enabled to secondary create it. And this is just what we are created. Uh, so, uh, if you are original creator, you can just use the initial mod offering to list your machine learning model on our decentralized model words and at this stage the consumer and users can invest and trade the ownership of these machine learning models and uh and uh if they use them by pay per use or pay per api call they can just uh, you know all the owners can uh redistribute and uh get uh, uh, shares of the usage after deduction of platform fee and they can also get some processing rewards by providing some feedback to the original creators and also the platform and uh after more than 51 percent ownership is invested this model will go open source and go to the decentralized open source uh pool and so it would enable the secondary creation and or even tertiary creation which is a creative uh you know a pipeline for go to market workflow for these machine learning models from research then to basis and then uh to consumer uh yeah uh so yeah uh it's just like a, you know a democratic dynamic benchmark uh, uh based on all this data we have so people can just vote by their 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 uh hands and their uh, fees objectively and subjectively uh to uh judge which model is most popular and intelligent and we can also have an index like etf to benchmark uh the models in different tracking areas like AI 
generate video, audio, coding, or long text. Yeah. So we call it uh, the output of benchmark, the proof of intelligence. So you can just see here, uh, we, we have official launch our uh, test night on our website and all the models are listening here. And you can see the model card here. And uh, uh, you can you can, you can can see that. Uh, that yeah, nice. so so uh, you can just try out here. You can view the details here. And uh, you, you can just uh, chat with them just like GPT. And there will be some reference from the uh, academic papers. And you can use app CP to link all these models. Uh, yeah, and you can also create a workflow here. We have uh, 20 million possible, uh, possible uh, investment valuation. And we are asking for $2 million. And uh, currently there are several follow-up investors uh, have commit, uh, committed and uh, we will we, we'll use this two million to accelerate the platform development, uh, drive early adoption, and also commitment and cost for the team. Thanks so much. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. All right. Thank you so much, Fernando, for the pitch. It was really interesting. Now we are through the questions. Yeah. We got a couple of them. Let, let me uh, read them real quick. So first of all, uh, we've got Stanford CMU PhD minting models. What's been the biggest aha, aha moment from uh, the alpha so far? Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, we have more than two, uh, two, uh, 200 models here. You, you, you can see here, uh, like you can just scroll here. Oh, sorry. It's just a recorded video, but you can go to our official website. We have more than 200 uh, models that is created by our uh, uh, team uh, in housely uh, comparing to other competitors like crypto pond they only have uh, uh, less than uh, 39 models let's see and uh, like sentient they even don't allow the public test for that you need to uh, join the wait list but you know for for the alpha test we have already have more than 200 uh, machine learning models yeah uh, more than 80% are pre-trained by our uh, team uh, team uh, members and also the other 20% are uh, fine-tuning uh, other open source uh, machine learning model like DeepSeek or uh, you know, you know, Llama. Uh, but uh, for but for our competitors, they just have uh, fine tuned models instead of pre trained themselves. So uh, we're really proud of that. And all of them are can be transparently tested. And uh, you know, here in this uh, chat boxes, and uh, they uh, we have have already have some uh, benchmark data here for people to justify which model is more popular. And you know, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, next question, uh, Uniswap pipes, but for brains, how do you keep spammy or low quality models from flooding the registry? Yeah, so so actually, actually we don't have any, uh, you know, we, we don't need to limit them from their their registry. Actually, we have a, a you know, we have a uh, we have this benchmark, so uh, it's easy to you know make all uh, use this benchmarks output proper intelligence to uh, to judge uh, and also to shift uh, all the prices of the usage for each model and even the ownership shares. Uh, you know, if 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 someone just uh, you know upload a you know a junk model or a model with many bugs with bad quality uh they maybe they are they clear uh, a price here but uh, if no one use them uh, you know here if uh, bad ratings bad review uh sentiment analysis and also with maybe no usage and no one invest for open source and also many bugs and uh, not not secure uh their ownership uh price will drop and so when, when they have the balance from the consumers, maybe the price will be really low and then it will be go open source. After it go open source, so people can see that, oh, uh, it, it go open source with such a, you know, a low price. So that means maybe low quality or uh, that, that not popular uh, from, from, from people's reviews. And, uh also uh you know for the consumers uh yeah you know you know they 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 all they, 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 they all you know uh, open source them as soon as possible for the battle of quality uh models so then they can they can they can just reveal the 
uh, you know, the data, the updates, and also uh, the width there. So uh, people will know why this is bad quality. So it will be judged both subjectively and objectively. Any, uh, you know, barrier or, or raise question to the market and then, um, you know, the price and also the, the benchmark the usage will justify all the quality of the models. Okay, thank you, uh, Fernando. Let me remind you real quick uh, for all you who's viewing, uh, guys, if you want to connect with our speakers, feel free to uh, search for the links in the chat by scrolling up. We all, always post that. And mm -hmm. yeah, let's keep it brief. We got two more questions, Fernando. So yeah, if you must, this feels like hugging face with a crypto soul. What's the wildest thing someone could build on Modelverse the current platform just can't support? Yeah, because of, you know, financial incentives, you know, uh, you know, uh, most of the time people think, oh, uh, open source, uh, their model on hugging face that is, you know, uh, really, uh, you know, uh, reputational and they uh, just contribute a lot to both a uh, community and the society but just just what you said it's hard to you know to 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 benchmark the quality of these models and it, it, it's hard to accelerate the whole process for the original creators who create the models uh, for example if, if if you are not so famous or you you are not fine tuning so famous models on uh, hugging face maybe it will uh, only depends on the uh, user ratings there, and it's easy to you know to to monopoly this this ones if someone do that. So maybe your 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 ranking on hanging face will be lower. Uh, and also, if you are uh, you know researcher, you just develop a model, you let it go open source. You you didn't get any kind of incentives, and you need still. Uh, you know, uh, some budgets to purchase uh, the uh, computing power for 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 a uh, fine tuning your model or pre a new model. So that is not a, a sustainable cycle. But uh, using this way, like incentives, you can sell your ownership uh, to earn incentives, and also you can you you can you can earn from the usage revenue sharing. So that will enable the original creator to be sustainable to gain some more resources and barriers to, you know, uh, accelerate the whole process from a pre trend and then a post trend and then fine tuning for all this process. So uh, that actually it will, you know, uh, really accelerate the whole process of the machine learning industry's development. Right. Thank you for answering the question. Uh, last one. Interesting. Royalties on one of the lineage is genius. How do you keep things fair when everyone is remixing everyone else? Yeah. So, so that'll be, uh, you know, a uh, 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 you know, a uh, um, charge process for uh, this lot of accumulations, just like you know, uh, we'll, we'll use some uh, watermark for for uh, from the cryptography to uh, like the similarity rate from uh, read from the secondary creation to original creators. So firstly, it will go OP. So it's not like a payment system. Instead, we we, we use a mechanism from the original creator to secondary creators with some. Uh, who uh, who are who are secondary creator uh, created some something similar uh, with the original creators model. Uh, this model firstly will show to the original creators, and then they they, they are responsible to judge and reveal these models uh, who are who are you know. Uh, fine tuning or prompt tuning based on their models. For for prompt tuning, it's really easy to uh, judge the similarity and uh, you know the fair for the, the for the percentage of the log accumulation. But for the fine tuning, it's m much more uh, it's harder. Uh, but you know, uh, original creator, if they just reveal this a similar models and think they 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 have some prior rhythm or the uh, citation rate that is. Uh, Lot accumulation percentage is not fair. They can just uh, you know report to the DAO, and the DAO will judge uh, for that and how how to negotiate the uh, percentage of uh, the lot accumulation. That is, uh, you know, the both sides agree on that. Uh, yeah, but in the future, we are we are trying to think for uh, you know uh, uh, an automatically uh, way for this uh, you know. Uh, uh, similarity uh, justify for this uh, uh, lot of accumulation, but that, that will take a long way, and uh, maybe we are using their knowledge for automatically uh, grab 
uh, some uh, some 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 you know uh summary from both models and uh then we we, we can just uh, comparing them to have a you know uh, a, a data for similarity that is automatically given uh secondary creators uh you know upload the model our model works okay thank you so much fernando it was really interesting thank you, and guys if you want to thank, thank uh, you Ivan and malika totally man and yeah guys if you want to be our next guest and pitch here as a project be sure to check out form for participation which is now in the chat and there's also feedback form and yeah uh hopefully we got we got we got pretty good today uh, have a great weekend and yeah let's see each other next week thank you so much for connecting thank you malika for helping me out and see you next time cheers guys Bye. have a great weekend